And we are back with more Dark Souls bow edge. Let's just do a little bit more and see if we can get Vought down at least. Boff. That's it, walk slowly for me buddy, that'd be brilliant, thank you. Oh, that's not walking slowly at me. That's a stab. Oh, oh that was actually alright. That was alright. Pretty good, let's save our arrows. I think the only tricky thing we've got down here now is a dog, which could actually be... Oh no, I need to get make sure I get rid of this guy, because he's going to one-shot me with a, a firebomb if I'm not careful. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. Seal. And then kill this guy, this dog, and then... There we go. And then we can do all the things. Cell key. Esther shard. Titanite shard. And now... I say we go get the shortcut. And then... We can go free our friend, um, Grey Rat. I'll tell you what, let's go for one step further. Let's go get Emma to give us the thing. So then next time we can just go and just jump straight into the boss. And that way this is all taken care of. We can take the shortcut and we can just go straight into the boss. Okay. And because this is a challenge room, we're not going to summon help for the boss. We're going to we're going to try and solo all bosses. Um, so big concerns with bosses that I've got. If you think about this game's bosses, you've got Yorm, who can only really be damaged by the Storm Ruler Sword. Can I just use that sword for that fight and then call it quits, or should I? Um, stick to the bow only because I think you can do very 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 minor damage to him to the point where he then collapses on he, he sort of basically gets the parry animation if you do enough damage to him and then you can attack his head whilst he's on the ground uh, but I think even with a highly leveled bow that's going to be very very little damage so you need to consider whether that's worth the nauseating effort to get that done or whether I should just use the sword and get the fight over with and then also the um the dragon that you need to plunge attack, the ancient wyvern. Um, so yeah, things to consider for later on in the game. Let's homeward bone and go get Grey Rat. This is fun. This is fun because I don't have to worry about stats for magic and, and achievement slots and all that sort of stuff. It's just Distance damage, managing stamina, and stuff. I think I'm going to get the Black Bow of Faris. I'm going to get Faris's outfit as well and probably cosplay it as Faris, unless I just decide at some point that maximum defense is, is key. Um, well, I suppose if I, if I go low um, equipment load, I could um, put on Flynn's ring. Uh, and that gives you damage boost the lower your equipment load. I think, but I think I don't think it starts until that level, until you're fifteen percent or lower. So I'd have to literally probably just be bow and then rags. So we can look, maybe do some investigations into that. And then let's go back to Firelink Shrine and. Um, get ourselves an Esther Shard trade in and some other bits I'm not sure what else oh I, um, let's see do I want to just maybe invest two Titanite into this and just upgrade it once just for the sake of getting to Black Bow of Faris but there's nothing but after Vought there's nothing there's no bosses between me and the Black Bow of Faris so it's hard to know what's to do for the best pretty be careful and then we should probably buy some arrows. Oh, 
we can go to talk to Greyrack because I think he sells different arrows. If he sells fire arrows, that'd be oh, handy. He does sell fire arrows. Uh, let's get a whole bunch of standard arrows. Let's get 200 standard arrows. And let's oh, two two fire arrows. Wow, brilliant. Goodbye. But they'll be handy in case we get to a situation where there are exploding barrels. And let's make standard arrows our normal arrow. And then the wood, the wooden arrows, there we go. There's the backup arrows. And let's go destroy Vort. Micah is not happy. He's a winch pot. So yeah, are there any other bosses I have to think about that are a bit tricky? Um, I think Crystal Sage could be tricky because it won't be doing a lot of damage per face. Once she gets hit, she starts her I'm going to disappear now animation. Um, so we won't be able to get a lot of damage in between um, disappearances, different phases with her. So that'll be tricky. And then um, the tree boss. It's got his weak weak spots, but I suppose if I'm using fire arrows, then that's all good. Um. Oh wow, that was far too close. Oh, if that had hit me, that might have killed me. Oh oh, okay. All right, there we go. Um, do we want to kill? Use the swordmaster. I think that's the swordmaster. No, it's not. It's someone else. Okay. I don't remember if I've killed Swordmaster or not. Um, okay, so we've, we've used two Essus already, which, let's let's be honest, isn't great. Um, we're just going to have to keep our distance. There's no, um, or, or is it fighting like a sword, like just getting underneath him the best thing to do? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Headshot. That's, that's reasonable damage. Oh, oh, don't get hit by that. Oh. It's just, you know, if he's just going to stay passive, I'm just going to keep staying passive myself. Oh, oh, he did not stay passive. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. I should play more reactionary. I should wait for him to do something and then attack. Because then you know he's not going to attack. Whereas if I get invested, no, he's doing his super mega charge up now. Do three charges, and then does his fire uh, icy blast. We can just go around the side of. Oh, that actually got me. Okay. He's a lot more aggressive in this phase, isn't he? I kind of think I did know that, but it just I'm really feeling it right now. When you normally got a sword and shield and you're underneath him, it's just kind of like, eh. You can go not so you want, but I'm still going to kill you. Whereas when you're having to stand away... Ooh. Oh! 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 Oh, well, I mean, that just happened, didn't it? I did not think he went for the multiple charges after... Um his big power up. I thought that's the only time he ever did that. I never thought he went for for the triple charge. Well, there you go. I think on that, vi on that failure, even that wasn't a victory, on that failure, let's call it a day. Bye-bye.